guys, welcome back to another chatty vlog. Uh, as usual, these will be totally random, may make sense, may not. We're just gonna talk, just gonna hang out, uh, maybe one day, maybe two days. We'll just decide when we decide to end it. I usually leave this vlog open for two days and then close it out on Fridays, um, even if I end up not sharing anything on Fridays, just really depends. Um, I am really starting to go into my busy season at work. So I'll try to do as many of these as um, I can. Um, but you never know. You guys know how my how my job is. It's just, it's very, um, very demanding. And sometimes in the evenings, and even though, I mean, yes, I'm off work usually no later um, than five o'clock, 5.15, 5.30 at the latest on some days when I'm working at home and I just wanna finish up some stuff. Um, Sometimes I get caught up in emails even in the evening on my phone, <laughs> I try not to, but I think the reason why I say it's just like I get so busy so sometimes it's hard for me to do these videos is because mentally I get so exhausted because I am dealing with people like every single day on a day, you know, on an hourly, sometimes minute <laughs> basis. And you know, you just get so mentally exhausted and that's how I get. Um, but welcome if you are new here, if this is the first time you're clicking on one of my videos. Um, I don't know if the chatty vlogs are always the first video for people to find because again, like I said, they're just random thoughts. I just kind of did these because my what I eat in a day videos sometimes used to get super long and they'd be really rambly, but you guys know I love to talk to you all and there's so many of you that literally have been watching me since day one and, um, I just like to chit chat, you know? I mean, I know so much about so many of you because you've reached out to me on emails, you've um, been nice enough, nice enough to gift me things, you, we you know, talk over on Instagram. So yes, it's just like chatting with a bunch of friends. Anyway, um, but if you would like to subscribe, I do do other videos um, that are not so random. I do what I eat in a day, recipes, grocery hauls, meal preps, all kinds of things. I also do book reviews, which is another random thing. Um, so if you'd like to subscribe, please do so. And that little notification bell is just if you wanna be notified for videos when they go up. It's not the most accurate. Lately, my notifications have been like delayed by a day. So like people that, I mean, luckily most of the people I watch are pretty, you know, they they keep a schedule, so they're pretty consistent. So I know it's like, oh, this person weighs in on this day, so I know their weigh-in video goes up on this day, or they always post their what I eat in a day, or they're always posting, you know, that's why I try to be consistent um, with what days I post what. But um, I just been noticing lately that my notifications are like delayed by like a day, like like just like this morning. I got, so like my friend Barrett, she posts her videos on Wednesdays for like her weigh in, like chatty videos for, to weigh in and talk about her weigh in. I just got a notification this morning for that. So it's always like a day delayed and I don't, I don't know why it's doing that. So hit the bell. It may work. It may not. Um, also I'm over on Instagram so you can follow me over there. Um, but today I was thinking, you know, some, I don't really like to plan my chatty videos because it's, you know, some, usually I have like something I want to chat about. Today I really am like, okay, what am I going to chat about? I mean, yeah, I talk about work all the time. Um, and like I said, we're going into that season where things are just going to, we only have a few months out of the year where it's slower. And I work in HR with education. And you think, oh, well, then you have the summer off. No, we don't. We work all year. Um, our particular like actual agency that I work for works all year. The school districts, then we work with other school districts. And of course they're off in the summer, but not administration. And then they're still trying to hire, you know, so we work with those. So it is a full year thing. Typically February, November are a little bit slower. November, December, those are kind of our slower months. Um, but April, May, June, actually more May and June are super busy, but there's a lot of prep stuff to do in April for the May and June craziness. Um, so anyway, and now as part of my job, I am attending conferences. So I have to go to one at the end of May and one at the end of July. Um, so that'll be interesting. Um, I'm already kind of thinking, how am I gonna plan for this? How am I gonna, you know, I still want to stay on track because those types of things really, really, really throw me off track. 
Um, and I'm just getting in such a good groove with my working at home days, which you guys know those used to totally throw me off track. So I work from home two days a week. Those used to totally throw me off track. Now these conferences, I'm so I was like super stressing about them, even though it's like six, six weeks away, but I'm like, okay, what can I do? What can I do? So I'm just kind of making some mental notes. You guys know, I'm just, I'm totally like have to be totally organized. You know, that's just part of my type A personality. So I'm kind of like random making notes in my, in my um, notes app in my phone, just trying to, you know, what can I do? What can I do? But I, it, I, I think I'll be okay. Um, but then I started thinking like there's some products lately that I have been buying in my grocery hauls and then forget to give you guys updates on because maybe I don't have them on a particular day that I'm doing a one eight in a day video. And then there's just random things that I pick up and buy that, um, I haven't been showing you because my chatty vlogs lately have been more like focused on like over organizing this, but I did my front porch stuff or I didn't even get a chance to do one last week. So I thought I'd just go around the house today as I am just chatting and filming, and um, to show you some hits and misses. You know, I really, really, really love to do favorites videos, but I have two things that make it hard for me. One is finding the time to really gather all my thoughts and gather the stuff and sit down and do the videos. So again, I do tend to work about 40 to 50 hours per week. It, like I said, the three days of that is outside the home. So, it, and then I, you know, come home, make dinner, and then, like I said, I'm just exhausted. So the weekends, I am grocery shopping, meal prepping, you know, so it is really hard for me sometimes to, like, get it all gathered together. Also, I don't, I don't know how people, when I watch those favorites videos, I'm like, how do people gather so many things every single month? I just, I can't, I don't know how people do it. So... I, and I, but I love doing them when I can do it. So I used to do them seasonally. So I would, that way I could collect enough stuff, you know, in like three months and just do like, you know, spring, summer, fall, winter. But again, it seems like those fall in. So like spring would kind of fall in the time. It's starting to get a little bit busy at work. You know, it's just, yeah, it's just the thing. Um, it's hard enough for me to get my book reviews videos um, filmed, which I filmed that last weekend and I still have not finished editing yet. It's a little bit longer of a video to edit, a little bit harder because I have to put graphics in there. Um, I have to make sure I do a lot of like stumbling in that. So I have to do a lot of editing out like what could end up being bloopers, you know, those kind of things. So um, I am going to edit that over the next couple of days so we can get that up next week for sure. But let me show you super quickly one of my hits and that is, or are, I guess, these um, ceramic pots that I found at Dollar General. These are so cute. I think they're supposed to be like planters, but I'm just gonna put them on my shelf and actually I got two of them. So I got this blue one and this kind of terracotta. Um, I think I'm gonna save one because we one of my coworkers has a birthday coming up next month. And so we'll be doing her birthday thing, I think around, you know, around the second week of May. So um, I think I'm gonna save this one because this one kind of goes with my color scheme. Um, but she's kind of a, a gardener and I thought, so I think she would really like this. And I really don't need two of these, um, but these were the two, they had two left and these were the two colors they had. So. Um, I would have really loved it. They had like a green because that goes really goes well with everything, but this will complement my stuff. These were five dollars, so they're a little bit higher than some of the Dollar General like home decor stuff, but aren't these so cute? So cute. Um, they have even a little faces on there. So anyway, you'll be seeing this on my shelf soon. I'll have to make some room for it, but yes, definitely, definitely a hit. I am super excited to have this on my shelf. Okay. Here's a miss, a big one. This right here, I want you to look how itty bitty this is. I wish I had a tape measure. I would say it is two inches by two inches. Like, seriously, y'all. This is one of those veggie made great blueberry oat muffins. Here's my gripe about them. They're super tiny. They were not cheap. Yes, I'm buying a convenience frozen food. What do I expect? I just thought it might be a nice little thing. Um, they're 110 calories, which whenever I make any kind of muffins, they come out bigger than this because I put them in my regular muffin size pan. This is like in between, I would say a standard muffin and a mini muffin. So kind of in between the two, 110 calories. So the calories aren't bad. Um, three grams of protein 
and four points. So you definitely, it's not a good bang for your buck when it comes to points. I'm gonna eat them because I bought them. The flavor's okay. No, not bad. But here's my thing with making the muffins. I make them. I can't eat them all. My husband, sometimes he'll eat one. He'll like, oh, this isn't too bad. That's what he says. This isn't too bad, but it's not anything he's going to pick up. He does not like artificial sweeteners at all. He can taste them. I think I'm just so used to them. They don't bother me. Um, but the problem is, you know, it's hard to just make a few, like ends up being a whole 12, you know? And so I'll put them in my freezer. I'll eat a couple within the time period of a few days, you know, knowing that I just made them. And then they just sit in there till they're just like, don't go bad. Um, that's the only thing about when you buy these kind of things in the store is that the way they freeze them, I think they just probably flash freeze them. And they're in these little individual things. And I, I probably could replicate that, but that's just a lot of work that I don't think I want to do. So I don't know. It was nice when we had the kids here. They would, um, you know, eat some of the muffins as well. But I just, I don't know. For me, I just won't repurchase. They're, and it kind of has like a slight like aftertaste too. I don't know what kind of sweetener they use. Um, yeah, I don't know. To me, they're just a little itty bitty. I had one of these for the first time. Was it yesterday? Yes, and paired it with the yogurt. It didn't keep me very full for very long. So you guys know I like to kind of front load my protein and calories the beginning of the day because that's when I'm usually like kind of the hungriest. And then that just kind of helps me to be able to make kind of a lighter dinner. But yeah, I don't know. I'm just not, not a fan. Now, if these were like the egg like frittatas or something, which they have those, um, it may be okay because, well, I don't know. I usually eat two of those whenever I make those at home. So... Yeah, I think I'll just stick to making my own muffins at home. So these were kind of a miss for me. Ready? let's see if we get another hit or miss. Oh, this is the wrong one. Hold on. Ready? here we go. The Dill Pickle Ranch Old House Farms dressing. So here's, here it is. I have not tried it yet. I found it at my Safeway store. So I have some Kirkland lightly breaded chicken nuggets. Also have some sweet potato fries. So let's try it with the chicken nuggets. I also, just for reference, oh, where are my napkins go? Hmm. I have some chili fire ranch also, which I know I like, so. Hmm, guys. This is even better than the dill pickle ranch that is in those salad kits. Oh my goodness, this is so good. This beats out my favorite, which currently my favorite was the Chili Fire Ranch. You have to find this, have to find this. This is so good. It's so good, you guys. Oh my goodness. Let's try it with the sweet potato fries. Now it's good with the sweet potato fries. Those are good in the Chili Fire Ranch. Okay, another hit. This is kind of a, oh yeah, I forgot about that. <clears throat> the Southern Breeze Cold Brew. If you've been around for a while, you know I used to buy this all the time. Completely forgot about it. Found my stash in my coffee bar. And I was all out of the original, which is one of my favorites. You can also buy these in big bags and make gallons out of them. I think they're gallon size. These ones though, it's just a tea bag. And you just put it in water. You can, if you, you, depending on the size of cup. So my Starbucks cups that are like 20 ounces, I typically put two of these in there because it says per like eight ounces or yeah, eight ounces. But I also can just put two in my 40 ounce one and I just let it sit in there all day or however long I'm drinking it. And it's, it's really good. So I get these off of Amazon. I've also ordered off their website, which is just as good as far as prices. I think it's the same price actually. There's Amazon, you get the free shipping. Tons of flavors, raspberry. The ones I've tried, now they have new flavors that I have not tried before. The ones I've tried, blackberry. Blackberry is good. 
In my experience, you have to do two bags no matter what size cup you put it in because it's kind of weaker. The mango is good. The watermelon, hear me out. The watermelon, really, really good. Um, the mint is okay. I, I guess I'm just not a fan of mint in my tea. Um, that one's okay. I have a bunch of mint because I don't drink it. They have a lemon, which is good. They have a half and half, so it's like half sweet tea, half lemon. They're all sweet. They're sweetened with sucralose, so if you don't like that, then you don't want these. Um, but the half lemon, half tea, I guess, is a, so it's like half lemonade, half tea, I think is what it's supposed to be. It's called half and half. Um, it's good as well. I think that's all the flavors that I've tried. I think they have a cherry. I think they have, um, they have a ton of new flavors that um, when I went on Amazon, I went on Amazon, I first went on their website, and then I thought, no, I really want this because I had two of the original left over. And I, I just, I wanted it right now. So I didn't want to wait for the shipping. So I ordered that, but I'm gonna order some of the bigger tea bags so I can do like a whole gallon. But anyway, yes, hit huge 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 hit here's my little snail friend i end up putting one of just one of my little pots which is actually just sitting there on the shelf doesn't that look stinking adorable y'all go to dollar general pick you up a little snail planter and then put a fake plant in like i did i just think that looks so so cute Okay, you ready for some more hits and misses? This has actually been really fun for me. Let me know if you enjoyed this. Um, if not, then I won't do it again. <laughs> but it's been fun for me. Okay, let's go for... Okay, I'm thirsty, so let's go for this. So I am loving the Bubbly Burst. Um, the only flavor I... was kind of meh. It didn't taste bad. I mean, when I first started drinking it, I liked it. But it seemed to be the fizziest of them, or the most... Um, tonic water, sparkling water taste to it, which is the part of sparkling water I don't like is when they're super like sparkling water tasty. You know what I mean? So those ones I was not a huge fan of, the Tropical Punch one, no, it's Tropical Punch or, I feel like it was a tropical though. I don't know. It's like a yellow orange one or something. Um, but the, my most favorite one is the pineapple tangerine. That one was absolutely amazing. I accidentally bought two of them because I thought I was buying one of each flavor, um, which I was so glad because they were really good. The mixed berry was good too. It was really good. But so many people have been telling me the watermelon lime is their favorite. So I've not tried that one yet. So let me give this a little taste test. Honestly, though, I kind of like the sparkling ice ones better only because they do have less of that sparkling water taste, but this is a different change. Now, see, this is so mild. That's my complaint about, I mean, yes, um, watermelon is never a very, like, strong flavor. I really, I think it's because I come from, you know, I don't show my age, you know, the old like watermelon, like what was it? Like yum, bubble yum or something like the super sugary gum. <laughs> uh, but the watermelon, remember how that was like punch you in the face watermelon flavor? Like I love that watermelon. I mean, I know watermelon in general doesn't have a super strong flavor, but I think as a kid growing up with all these watermelon flavor things, like it was such a strong watermelon flavor. This is kind of mild and I was like, I can't even taste the lime. It's not unpleasant, but it's such a mild flavor. Um, I do notice with these, like the longer I drink them, it, I, the, the flavors tend to like really you know, grow on me. But the tangerine pineapple one, that was right away a favorite. This one's okay. I would purchase it again. It's just, it's just kind of, it's not very strong. Okay, let's get to um, a miss, two misses. And this is makeup related. This um, Tula, is it called Tula? I can't, I don't have very good lighting in here. It's like a Tula Gold Glow and Get It. So it is a skincare, it's supposed to, it's like a cooling and brightening eye balm. I don't know if it's just I'm doing this wrong. I mean, it, it literally has instructions on here. It just says, you know, put in your under eye area. It'll brighten and whatever. I don't, it, it 
doesn't do anything. Like it just slops on my eye. And I feel like I, I put it under my makeup. I, I don't notice any difference. I put it over my makeup. It just, it's just there. Like it's, I don't see any glowy. Like I wear glowy stuff. I love glowy stuff. Like it, you can't even see it. Like, look at this. I'm putting this on my entire hand. You can barely see it. It is very cooling, very cooling. So I guess, do your under eyes get hot? Like I don't, why do you need a cooling thing under your under eyes? I don't, it has no smell, which is good. I don't like makeup that has super strong smell. It, it's just weird. I luckily I got this like through Ulta um, on their website when they're doing one of their beauty steals where they do, it's like a 50% off thing. So I didn't spend a lot of money on this, but I think this was something I saw on TikTok or YouTube and like, oh, look at their eyes. They're so bright. No, not mine. So I don't know. I don't like it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Probably just toss it. I tend to keep makeup I don't like. It just sits there <laughs> as a reminder. I don't know why I do that. Um, anyway, another thing that TikTok got me, which I love e.l.f. makeup. I have a ton of e.l.f. makeup. Um, I really like it. I, I love the moisturizer. I use their, um, their SPF skin um, primer. I use, um, I use a lot of their products. Um, I love their, like right now I've been using their cream blush and their cream highlight. Um, so yes, huge fan. Um, I saw these as they're supposed to be a lip stain and it's supposed to be a glowy lip stain. So in my, in the, in the past where I've tried like lip stains, they tend to like dry my lips out and it just, it just dries like all cakey and weird, you know, and all that. This is supposed to be like a glowy one. So yes, when you first put it on, it's very, it is very glowy. I don't know if I can do it with just the camera. And they say it's supposed to dry like, I have two of these. This is more of the brown shade and I have like a pink one. Um, so it's very glowy. And then it's supposed to dry and be like a lip stain. Mm -mm. Like it does so a transfer, which it transfers just a little bit. Like you can see it there. I mean, it's there, but the videos I saw on TikTok, they're like, does not transfer, you know? And I, I mean, I know it's like, it's a video. They're trying to sell product. They're making a commission off of it. I bought it at, um, at Fred Meyer, which is my Kroger store. Like they sell this kind of thing. That's where I bought mine. Um, I mean, it's nice when it goes on. It's a pretty color. The pink one is called like pinkies up. It is kind of like a pinky, like kind of pinky brown, kind of mauvish color. And I really like that, but it doesn't stay on like at all. And I, I drink a lot of like water and you know, whatever throughout the day. So I hate having to reapply. Like I, like my favorite glosses, as you guys know, probably from watching my channel, I have these all over my house. I have them at work. I have them at my house. I have them in my purse and my car. They're the NYX butter glosses. These, I love these. Like I, they're cheap. They're like five bucks. There's a ton of fla flavors, <laughs> a ton of colors. Um, I love, they go on so easy. I love the, the glossiness of them, but I have to reapply them throughout the day because they come right off. I mean, so there's not much difference between the elf one that's supposed to be like a stain and, and this one. So I'm just going to continue. Like these were not that, I think this was $10. So twice the price of the NYX butter glosses. I'm going to stick to these, even if I have to reapply I just, I have like, there's probably like eight different colors that I like that are my favorites. And every time I go to Ulta, I just pick them up, even though I probably don't need them. I just pick them up because like I said, they're only $5 and they're just, I just like to make sure I'm keeping my favorite colors in stock. And like I said, I have them at work, had one right here. I have them in my purse. I have them in my car. <laughs> they're everywhere. Um, so anyway, yeah, so this one was just kind of a little hit, a uh, uh, miss for me. Now, something that's a hit and a miss. So these Brilliant Eyes, um, these are the liquid eyeshadows from L'Oreal. These are, they're not cheap, cheap. I mean, I don't know, they're not expensive. They're for, they're normal price for drugstore. They're like $11.99. I love me some like sparkly eye. Like I, you know, always put a little bit of sparkle on there. Um, and these, the ones that are good are amazing. So this one is my newest one called Crystal Shine. Um, this is a good one. 
So Crystal Shine, Diamond Drop, Amethyst. Those are my three favorites um, as far as how they go on and the, uh, the colors. The Amethyst one is drop down. Like it is my favorite one. It is so pretty. It's not super bright purple. It's like a muted kind of lavender. So gorgeous. And it goes on so smooth. So like this, you'll see, you know, how, how smooth it goes. Like it's just, see, look at that. Look how smooth that is. It is so smooth. Um, there are three other ones. I can never remember the third one. So I know it's like, um, amber something. So basically they're like the metallic one. So it's like a golder one, an amber one, and like a reddish one, I want to say. Um, and they're super patchy. I should have brought one in with me. Um, when you, when you slide it on like that, it's just patchy. So those ones, I love the colors on them. They're so pretty, but it's really hard to get on your eye and I have to take a brush and smooth it out. It's just like twice the work. Um, the other complaint I have about these, so this one I just got, it's, it's like I said, it's my newest one, but the amethyst one is the one I've had probably the longest. I think that was that one and one of the reddish ones, the amber sky, I think it's called. Those two I bought first and the amber one's always been that way. Um, but the amethyst one now is starting to get kind of gloopy and I have not had it that long. Um, so, and I, I use it often, so I don't know if it's the action of me going like this, <laughs> but as it's good, like you can see now, it's about halfway down and it's just really, it comes out in clumps now. That's my only thing is like, I feel like I get a lot of mascaras that do that too. The only mascaras that do not are the expensive ones, of course, which those are always my favorite mascaras. I have to say with mascara, drugstore sometimes just doesn't do it for me. And I think it's because I have such short, short little non-existent lashes. Um, but yeah, but anyway, I do like these, but just be careful if you buy them because it's just some of the shades are not as good. But if you like kind of like an amethyst or these lighter colors, like this is Crystal Shine, the other one's Diamond Drop, those three I really like um, a lot. But just be careful with some of the maybe more metallic ones. They don't seem to go on as well. Okay, so two more hits and um, my shampoo. I have never spent this much in my entire life on shampoo, y'all. Like I... Uh, the reason why I did it was because my, I, I used to go back and forth between like Garnier and, um, gosh, what was that other one? The one of the purple one, the Aussie, Aussie one. And, but my hair was just not doing good. And I think it's with perimenopause, like my hair has gone to super, super dry. Where honestly, like I have to, if I wash it more than twice a week, it just gets um, really bad. So I just use dry shampoo to clean my scalp, you know, in between. I don't get oily, but I feel like, like I'm like thinking, I have to wash my scalp. Like, I feel like that just like, <laughs> it's not gonna smell good, right? So I just take dry shampoo and put it just on my scalp just to kind of freshen it. But if I wash my hair more than twice a week, it is so bad, like it is so dry. And so I thought, okay, if I'm only really washing my hair twice a week, I should, spend a little bit more money on shampoo. Like I can spend more money on shampoo because I'm not gonna be using it as much. And so this is my second purchase of this Redken. Um, I purchased the first ones back in January and I just repurchased. So it took me over three months, about three months. I ran, I just ran out of that literally like last week, I think. So it took me a good three solid months to go through the last one. These are $22 a piece, 22, 22, 44 for both of them. Um, I do think I got them on sale the first time, um, but this is the Redken All Soft Shampoo and Conditioner. And here's what's funny is that when I went in to get my hair done um, last Friday, um, my hair person was like, oh my gosh, like she goes, you have so much new growth. So like through here, she's just like, this is all new growth and she could just, I just had baby hairs all over. And I said, I told you like, cause I told her that I'd switched to the shampoo the last time I went. And I said, oh, I'm just like, you know, trying to, I'm hoping it, you know, does something good for my hair. And she was like, this stuff is doing so good for your hair. Like she said, the texture, she was able to control it. I mean, my hair is, is crazy. Like it's so super coarse. You guys didn't know my, my grandmother comes from, um, she came from Morocco. 
and I think I have her hair. My hair is so coarse and so thick. Like it is so, it's so hard for her to be able to get it to take any color to do like these highlights and stuff. And my hair, she said like, I'm one of the few people she has that is a natural zero um, as far as my color. So like when she does my roots and stuff, like she said, I am a zero, like it is actually black like that is my when I first went in there she was like do you dye your hair and I said well I do just to touch up roots and stuff and so she you know at that point when I went in though I hadn't dyed my hair in a long time and that was before I was really going super gray and so she takes her little color thing and she's just like wow you're like you are one of my few people like I never use my black she was like I never use my color zero whatever it is and so anyway um she so she just said, you know, she's learned to do my hair over the years. And um, but she said it's just been so manageable. She's getting it to like behave and go straight and all that stuff. So anyway, I think it's the shampoo. So this is a huge hit. Definitely, definitely worth the money for me. Um, let me know what kind of shampoo you guys use. I don't think I'm going to change for a while, but sometimes my hair does get a little used to shampoo and I feel like it just stops doing what it's doing and I will switch up for a little bit. Um, but anyway love this stuff love it i get it at ulta then the last thing for right now that i can think of that i won't repurchase but not because it's not a great product but because of the cost so i also saw this on tiktok but i bought it through amazon um it, it was just cheaper through amazon and like free shipping and all of that um this is the guru nanda which i used their like teeth whitening strips at one point which were pretty good um they tasted fine and they weren't they were like they were good for like sensitive teeth and um but so i got this because i some mouthwash makes my stomach upset and i know i don't drink it but you know just that little bit like you may accidentally swallow or you know i, I don't know i have just a like it's the same thing with toothpaste. For some reason, my something in toothpaste and mouthwash is super sensitive to my stomach and it just makes me instantly like not feel good. And so this is supposed to be like an all natural um, and it, the ingredients, like it, I think it has like coconut oil or something. I don't know, but it's, it's just more of an all natural brand. Um, so this is a whitening on one side and then like the mouthwash on the other. So it's like a whitening mouthwash and another mouthwash together. So when it pours out, it's like a double thing. So you're getting part of each of them and it tastes amazing. Like it is wild mint is the flavor tastes out of this world. It is so good. Does not upset my stomach at all. It does not make me like gag or anything. Um, but it was like $14.99. For a mouthwash and I use it every day so I'm gonna have to find something else I'm gonna look for maybe some other kind of all-natural mouthwash that's a little bit cheaper um, that doesn't like you know upset my stomach or anything but if you're in the market for a mouthwash that's you know that's more like more natural type stuff you know I do recommend this brand um, and this one does taste good so if you've seen this on TikTok or YouTube or anything like that I think it is good i think it does what it says it does so take that as you will but 15 dollars, i'm just not willing to spend that i'd rather spend it on shampoo <laughs> so anyway that's all i got right now i had to go to dollar general to pick up some sodas for my husband so i picked up another little snail friend because i just really think he's cute and i want to give that other one to my friend for a gift um so i just bought one more five dollars at dollar general and this is where he's at. He's on my, my coffee table. And I just had already had a little plant there. So just stuck him in there and there he is. I have a few more things. And then I think I will close out this video. I still have not edited my book review video. So I have that one to edit. <clears throat> I have this video to edit. I um, was editing first thing this morning, my what I eat in a day video. So um, I have a lot to do tonight. Um, but you know, work just gets in the way. What the heck? Why do we have to sit here for eight hours? <laughs> anyway, I picked, just went to Dollar General. I told you I picked up that other snail, little snail guy. Um, and I picked this up. This will fit. This is kind of a small little notepad and it'll fit in my purse. Currently, my regular planner, which does not have a lot of note pages anyway, um, it does not fit in my, in my purse because it's big. It's that meal planner pro from Clever Fox. 
Um, but sometimes I like, you know, think of, okay, I want to do this video or I'll see a product. It's like, oh, I need to pick that up. Um, sometimes I'll, if I have time when I see it, I'll, you know, and this is like when I am, um, like at work or, you know, just, I don't know, driving. <laughs> and I'm like, I want to like, oh, I need to write that down. So, you know, when I stop wherever I'm going, I'll usually just go put it in my phone. And here's the thing. When I put it in my notes app, I have so many notes apps in there, like so many notes in my notes app that I just lose track of them. So I thought, okay, yeah, if I have this, then when I'm either sitting at work or um, like I said, even just sitting here at home and I'm thinking, oh, I, I don't want to forget to look for that or um, is this a good video idea or just things I want to add to my to-do list for the weekend, you know, that kind of thing. So I just picked this up. These are a dollar at Dollar General. They are super cheap. You don't want to use the, the pages are really thin. So you want to use just a regular pen. Like I, most of my pens are, you know, kind of ones made for planners. And so they tend to leak through, but just like a regular ballpoint pen is what you want to use for these. So, um, so anyway, I picked that up. I thought it was super cute. So this will be nice. I can just throw it in my purse, carry it with me all the time. Then I always have the stuff. I don't have to pull my phone out, look at my notes app, you know? So anyway, there's that. Um, also the last two things. So you may remember <laughs> a long time ago, I used to exclusively use Bones Coffee, except for like when Starbucks would come out with their, you know, holiday, you know, type thing, like the holiday blend you guys know, the fall blend or like my absolute favorite, um, Starbucks coffee. Um, but I, um, when I got my Nespresso, it does, so when I had my Keurig, I could use my little, like, you know, you could use your little cup, refill cup, but Nespresso's, I don't think they have those. And I didn't really like the Keurig one very, very well. And I love Nespresso coffee, like love, love, love it. But I do kind of miss the flavored coffee and the Nespresso pods that are flavored are a little, they're pretty spendy. So um, I then I remembered, I have like three. <laughs> Um, I think I got one as a gift and then I have two different size then I, I purchased two different size ones but um, French press I, I don't know why I didn't think about that because I was gonna purchase like a single coffee cup maker like one of those ones that just like um, either fills up like the tall cups or just like the little four cup coffee maker I was gonna get something like that I still have my coffee maker goodness y'all I just had I'm like having this sneezing attack <laughs> Uh, my lilac bush that's right outside my window here is blooming and unfortunately that thing gets me like I, I love lilacs they're like one of my favorite flowers they're just so beautiful and I love the color but um they make my allergies go a little bit crazy but I love that it's blooming you guys all of our flowers like are late blooming like none of our spring flowers are blooming and I think it's just because we've had the ice and the snow recently <laughs> so um Anyway, I remembered I had my French press, so um, I'm not gonna buy any other coffee maker. I don't need one. I have a huge one, but I, you bring it out in the holidays, you know, when, when we have people over. So, and that is just shoved away in my laundry room in one of the cabinets in there. So I've been using this in my French press. So these are two new flavors that I have not tried. I don't know how long they've been around because I have been away from Bones Coffee for a while. So I don't know how long they've been around, um, but this is the Dragon's Layer, which is enough flavored, but it's the South Central American in Indonesia, it has caramelized sugars, cacao, and smoky are the notes. Um, the process is washed, sun-dried, and wet hulled. I love this coffee. It is so good. And like I sit here, I can smell it right now. Um, I love how these open too. They open in the back. I hate the Starbucks packages. They are, I can never get them open, you know, to tear them apart to be able to roll them up to use those things. So I always end up cutting off the top and having to use a clamp or something. I love these because they just, they have a little thing you just zip off the back and then just seal up and they seal up so tight. Oh my God, it smells so good. Oh, it smells so good. Anyway, love, love, love this one. And I see, it like how it says, smell me. Um, this is the white rabbit, which is like a white, let me see if I, it, it, it's just like a white chocolate, but, um, 
I just have coffee. He's like seeing me smell stuff and he's just assuming I'm eating something. But this one is good too. It's really good. I think this may be a limited edition flavor. I think this was for Easter because if you look at it, I think it was for spring probably. But this one I think is a full-time flavor. Highly recommend this. I do always have a link down below for Bones Coffee. To be completely honest, I don't know what my link does for you. I think it gives you $5 off your first order and then I earn points. And then once you set up an account, you can get the same type of referral link. I don't have any special link with them. Um, this is just a link that I got when I first signed up for their coffee and started buying it. So you can get the same type of link, but it is so good. So anyway, I have been missing my Bones coffee. Oh, which brings me to one more thing. Actually, so I'm gonna go put these away and I'll grab the very last thing. I prefer to drink my Bones coffee with just plain creamer. And so I had picked this up and this stuff is interesting. Um, it actually has buttermilk in it, um, but um, this is so good. I love it. I I've seen mixed, mixed reviews on it. I feel like some people just really hate it and some people love it. I don't see a lot of in between for it. I really like it. It's 15 calories for a tablespoon. I usually do about two tablespoons of it, but now if I remember right, you can have three tablespoons for one point, but the stuff is really good. Carnation. I just happened to see it at Fred Meyer, my Kroger store one day, and thought, I'm just gonna give that a try, because I was looking, I was looking, it was gonna get half and half, and then I thought, well, this, if it already is sweetened, because I use, you know, my stevia, pure stevia sweetener in my coffee. But I'm like, if that's already sweetened, I'd have this one less step I have to do for my coffee. <laughs> this sounds so lazy. Speaking of bones coffee though, one last thing. So I was doing my grocery order and I have a conference coming up end of May. And I've been trying to think of all these ways, like what, how can I stay on my regular schedule? Which I'll go more into this. I'll actually probably my chatty vlog around that time because I'm not gonna be able to do any filming while I'm gone and I'll be gone for three days. So, um, well, I think I am going to film, but it's not gonna be my regular stuff, you know what I mean? So I won't like probably have a grocery haul, meal prep, none of that stuff. But I've been trying to think like, how can I stay like in my same routine? Like they have a gym there so I can do my bike riding in the morning. So that is good. But my greens, my Motivate Burn, my protein coffee, all of those are part of my like strict, strict routine that I am loving and that I feel like is keeping me on track. So I was thinking, I was looking to see, you know, where like is, are there like any single cold brew coffee. And I knew that there was the nitro ones from Starbucks. I don't like those at all. Like I don't like the ni nitro cold brew from Starbucks, even in store, I don't like it. So I was looking to see like, what kind of cold brew singles can I get? And I would only need two because it would be like, we're leaving on a Sunday and we get back Tuesday night. So I just need it for Monday, Tuesday. So I went on the Walmart app um, just to see, you know, what I could find. And I was gonna pick up a few different ones to try over these next few weeks to find the ones that I like. Cause I thought that would be easier to travel with. I can just take those two things, take my, you know, protein, my um, protein drinks. Cause I can, there'll be a refrigerator there. I can just put them in the refrigerator. Um, so I went to go look and my Walmart has bones, singles, cold brew coffee. I had no idea. Now I've been seeing bones coffee in Safeway they're, they seem to be smaller packages than these ones and they cost a lot more than what they are when you go online to buy. Um, but they do have them. So I thought, well, that's fun. But they, I never looked, saw it at the cold brew. I didn't know that, to be honest, I, I never even noticed on the um, Bones website that they even had cold brew coffee. So I looked on their website and sure enough, they do. Um, but these are just little cans and um, so I, I'm gonna order two this week. They only had, they have three flavors, but one of them was sold out. So they have like, um, I can't even remember the, I, I, I have no idea. I cannot remember the flavors. I just looked at them last night, no idea. So I'm gonna order two of those and try those and see how they are. Um, and I'm gonna look for some other options as well and just kind of try some over these next few weeks to see um, if any of them will work for me for those couple of days. So. Anyway, yeah, check your Walmart if you wanna try like maybe the, the bone cold brew. I'm sure it's amazing because their regular coffee is amazing. 
So I think that's gonna be everything for this video, guys. Let me know if you liked this kind of video where we're just sharing our hits and misses um, of things that we can think of. Let me know of any recent hits and misses for you down in the comment section. Um, next week, I think will be more of a normal, like, um, chatty vlog. I don't know, we'll see. Sometimes I just struggle coming up with things to sit here and like chat with you about. So. Um, stay tuned next week. I'm going to have a book review up. I'll have this video up. I will probably have one or two what I eat a day videos. Um, this last week I posted them more in short form. They were so much easier for me to edit. I felt less stressed to edit them. So I think I am going to do them that way from now on. It just, it felt so much less anxiety and just like, I mean, cause I like them to be really good for you guys. And I just felt like they were, um, they were just a lot better. So I probably will do that in the future. And I think that's everything. So hope you guys have a fabulous week. You're gonna see this, I think on a Tuesday or Wednesday. So have a fabulous week and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.